As this is the case with all competitions, including general election, the process yields winners and losers. As a country that produces some of the best athletes in the world, we know this only too well, and the 2022 general election is, of, is no, not any different. We are convinced that everybody gave it their best. Regardless of the outcome, we remind ourselves that there, there remains many numerous opportunities to serve communities in the future. Of significance is the pronouncement on Monday 15th, August 2022 by Mr. Wafura Chepkati of the winner of the presidential seat and the president-elect is Excellency William Samuel Ruto. As women leaders and mediators, we have consistently urged Kenyans to trust our referee, the IBC, to do their job. In addition, we remind ourselves that Kenya is a country that respects the rule of law, and this should make us feel much safer. In this respect, we urge competitors who may, have be, who may be aggrieved by the results to seek redress through legal means and avoid actions that may escalate violence. We appreciate that Kenya has strong institutions with the capacity to address disputes of any sort and plead with all parties that took part in the election to revert to these institutions as the rest of the country resumes their activities. We are aware that all our four presidential candidates and signed a peace pledge to maintain peace before, during, and after elections. We plead with them to be faithful to this commitment, as well as any other decision made by the institution mandated by our Constitution. <laughs>